Hi everyone, my name is Julia and welcome to the Flow Acrylic Ministry Lesson 1. This is hosted by Jules Artsy Boutique. So today in Lesson 1 we're going to be learning how to do a flip cut using Flow Acrylics and we're going to learn about who is the painter. So that is the topic of Lesson 1 is who is the painter. So for this lesson, um, the only thing special you're going to need is some type of cup. It doesn't matter what size. Obviously, um, you're going to need a canvas. This is an 8x10 canvas. If you want more information about just kind of general what types of things you need to be able to do these types of art practice, please see the introduction. But the only thing special is going to be a cup. And then I'm going to use a couple different colors. I'm going to use um, purple, pink, kind of this bluish green. And it's probably a little bit of dark blue, and then I have my white paint always, okay? You do not have to use these colors. You do not use to use this many colors, um, but this is what I'm going to use today. So before we get started, um, I like to start with prayer because all of my painting, I always start with prayer. And part of that is because when I like to paint, I like to practice kind of um, being present with God. Because we can be present with God really in anything, washing our dishes, doing our laundry, doing a sport, painting. Um, so part of that is just starting with prayer and asking God to be present with us. So if you would pray with me, Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for today. I thank you for this opportunity to get to paint with you. I ask that you just be present with us uh, as we paint, Lord. I pray that you would just teach us who you are. Father, we learn more about you, Lord, as you transform our hearts and minds, Lord, so we would learn who, who you are, Lord, your character. We just love you, Lord. Um, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So in this lesson, which is going to be uh, who is the painter, um, I'm going to start us off by reading a little bit of scripture. Um, this is from Isaiah 64, 8. And it says, yet you, Lord, are our father. We are the clay. You are the potter. We are all the works of your hand. And that's Isaiah 64.8. And that's the basic premise for this kind of art ministry idea, which is that, okay, we're not talking about pottery, but we're talking about painting. And that, that God is the painter of our life. Um, he is our creator, uh, but he also, he paints our life story. Um, he is directing us, he is guiding us, and so he is our painter. And so with that kind of came the analogy of like our bodies being kind of like this canvas, right? Um, we are the canvas, he is the painter. And the, the paint, particularly in this demonstration, it's kind of like our spiritual self or our soul, who we are. Um, and who we are is kind of dependent on how God mixes us. Some of us are uh, thicker, some of us are thinner, have, some of us have more colors, some of us have less colors. You know, we're all a little bit different. We're all kind of individuals. Um, and who we are is dependent on how God mixes us and how God prepares us. But that he is making a masterpiece out of all of us. Because we are God's masterpiece. So today let's imagine that the canvas is your body. And the paint is like your soul. And God is the painter. He's the ultimate creator. He prepares the canvas. He mixes the paint in the perfect way. And how the paint is mixed determines how fluid it is, how easy it flows, and ultimately the result is the same. It's a masterpiece. And we are God's masterpiece. So for step one, um, we've gotten all of our tools and we are going to pour um, paint into our little cup. And while we're doing this, I want us to contemplate a question. And so this is what we're going to contemplate. We're going to think about God. So when you think of God as your creator, God as your painter, what characteristics come to mind? Just like we as humans has characteristics, God has a character. So what characteristics do you think he has? 
So when we describe a person's character, sometimes we say, oh, well, they're a really gentle person, or they're a really strong person, or they're they're really hard-headed. You know, we would describe people different ways. But how, what is God's character? Um, so I, while you are preparing your cup, I want you to think about when you think about God and his character, what types of things come to mind? So for my cup, um, I usually like to put white paint in the bottom of all of my cups. It's not absolutely necessary, but it's what I prefer to do. So I'm going to put in a little bit of white. And then I'm going to put in purple. And we're not going to need to fill this cup all the way up for this size canvas. So if, as long as it's probably about half full, that's going to be plenty of paint to cover this 8 by 10 canvas. If you're using larger canvases, sometimes this is a good idea to do more than one cup. So if I was to do a bigger canvas, I might use two cups or three cups. So now's our pink. And then we're going to do some of this greenish blue. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of this dark blue. Okay, so now we have our cup. So the Bible has a lot to say about God's character. And one of the reasons we have the Bible is to teach us about God. So in the description section um, under this video, there will be kind of... Um, all the questions that I've been proposing and, and the layout of this lesson, there's going to be a list of kind of the character of God or what we consider God's character, as well as references to scriptures that kind of show us how God is those things. And so I'm going to lead out the list that I have. Okay, we're not going to go through each of these in detail in this lesson. But feel free to kind of meditate on these different things. Or I've even done where I've done like a painting basically for each one of God's characters. So for that painting, I think about that characteristic of God and kind of meditate on those scriptures. So that's something you can do um, if you're looking for um, more ideas on things you can meditate on while you paint. So God is wisdom. He is infinite. He is sovereign. He is holiness, he is all-knowing, he is faithful, he is love, he is all-powerful, he is justice, he is unchanging, he is mercy, he is eternal, he is goodness, he is gracious, and he is always present. Just like he's present with us right now. Um, so that is what the Bible has to say about who God is and God's character. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be, we're going to surround the cup by some white paint and spread it around. And then we're going to be flipping our cup. But before that, I would like us to go to the next kind of question we're going to contemplate while we're doing this. So you, can you think of a time in your life when you felt God was working as your painter? where God was working in a way to maybe guide you or change you or mold you or tilt you. And we're going to kind of see how we tilt this canvas. 
So while you are, are flipping your cup and while we're tilting the canvas, I want you to contemplate um, maybe a time in your life where you felt God was doing that to you, okay? So I'm going to add white paint around. And then I'm going to kind of spread that in a really thin little layer across all of my canvas. So there have been um, a lot of times in my life that I felt like God was really working to, to guide me um, in a particular direction in my life. Or like I felt like he was working to kind of change a part of me that needed changing. Um, and one of those areas has been recently, which has been kind of working on my patience. So I have a tendency to be a very strong-willed, hard-headed person. And similarly, I'm not very patient. I like to be doing something. Um, I do not like to be not doing something. And especially with this kind of, in the, during this time with this pandemic, where we're all kind of like having to take um, time away from certain activities and things. I've had to really work on my patience. And I feel like that is one way that the Lord recently has been kind of tilting me and learning to be patient on God's timing and that he has a timing for certain things. And that while I am being patient on his timing for certain things, there are certain things I can do in my life that are good things and glorifying to God's kingdom. And then there are certain things I can do that are not very glorifying to God's kingdom. And that part of what patience is, especially in this season, is doing things that are glorifying to God's kingdom in that time. Like this art ministry, you know, we're not doing this in person, but I'm doing it through a video series. So it, you know, it's a different way. And part of that uh, has been me being learning patience. Okay, so we spread our um, white paint around, and now we're going to take our cut, and we're just going to flip it. And we're just going to let that sit there. Um, and we're, the paint's kind of running down. So we're just going to let the paint run down. Um, so while we're letting that kind of sit for just a second, I'm going to take us to kind of the third question we're going to contemplate while we're doing this. And it's the question of God is working in each of our souls. He is making us into a masterpiece. So what area of your soul is you working right now? How have people shaped you in either a positive or a negative way? How has this shaped your view of God's character? So we can kind of contemplate that. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this cup. And the paint is going to kind of spread out. Some very pretty colors in there. And while I'm kind of contemplating the, for me, which is kind of patience, for you, you can think of what is God doing, we're going to tilt the canvas. And this is kind of like how God, what does God does in our lives, is sometimes he kind of tilts us, right? Because he leads us and guides us as he molds us into the art piece that we are. And so we're going to kind of um, let tilt and let the paint run and when you want the paint to kind of run over the sides of the canvas that's okay that's what we want and so we're gonna go tilt it this way and this is like spreading all over in some very pretty colors the pink with the purple worked out really nicely This is kind of like some of the messy part, but that's okay. Definitely want to wear gloves if you do not like paint on your hands. Yeah, you can kind of 
see. Am I creating a good, cool image here? I'm like going this direction. So you can kind of see we have a cool little image here. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Okay, I've got a lot of paint on my hands, so I'm gonna get a little wet wipe and kind of wipe my hands down a little bit. So the next thing we are gonna do is, if we wanted to be done, I mean, we could be done. This could be the finished product with the painting. Because um, it's basically, it's a painting now, and it's very beautiful. But... We can also do some certain things like we can add in some lines, we can add in some more colors if we wanted, we can kind of change some areas. There are certain things we could do to this painting to kind of embellish it. And I like to think it's kind of like what God does with us where, you know, he's already kind of created us into a masterpiece, but there might be an area of us that's maybe not as nice. And so he a lot of times works in those areas to build in us character, or he kind of embellishes us, right? And so I think that's kind of like what we're doing with the painting right now, is we're going to kind of embellish it, um, or maybe change a couple areas that are not my favorite. And that's like what God kind of does in our life, because it's like he is building in me more patience, that's building in a better character within me. So that I am being shaped in, uh, into the painting that he wants. And by being a more patient woman, I'm becoming more of the woman that God created me to be. So I'm going to have, I have some little pink that is a little bit darker color. And I'm going to just kind of try to add in to this little area here. Just like kind of God sometimes adds in character to us. And then if I wanted to kind of drag some of this paint. So one of those questions that I mentioned earlier to Complay is like, how have certain people in your life shaped you as a masterpiece? And, or how have those characteristics of other people in your life shaped you, uh, changed how you view God's character? So there are certain people in my life that, um, we'll just take the example of patience, right? That I struggle with. There are certain people in my life that have facilitated more patience within me and encouraged me to have more patience. And then there's certain people that have done the opposite. They have kind of been a bad influence and created in me less patience. And sometimes even those people that maybe have been a bad influence in my life or maybe not the best influence in my life, have kind of shaped how I view God. And so maybe sometimes I viewed God as not a patient God because I had certain people in my life that weren't very patient with me. And so one of the things that God continues to show me is the how um, sometimes God's character is very much different than a lot of the character of people in our lives. And so people in our lives can sometimes be a good reflection of God's character or a bad reflection of God's character. And then that often kind of shapes us in certain ways. But the awesome thing about God is that when we come to him and allow him to be the painter of our lives, 
there is no flaw or nothing too big or no no too big a mistake that he can't fix. And so even though maybe there are certain people in my life that um, shaped me in a way that wasn't very good, that God can fix that because there's nothing he can't fix. And that the end result is going to be a beautiful masterpiece because God makes all things uh, beautiful because we are all the works of his hands. And so the key is really to allow God to be the one that's in the driver's seat and God to be the one that is the painter of our lives. And when that happens, when we give him that control and allow him to be the director, then we get something that's very beautiful. And just like this painting today is very beautiful. So I'm going to kind of give you a little bit more of a So there you can kind of see our painting, the beautiful masterpiece. So thank you for joining me on lesson one about who is the painter hosted by Jules Artsy Boutique. And I hope that you will join us for lesson two where we are going to talk about how God is grace. Um, so please tune in. God bless. Jesus loves you.